Here we go, we are rolling out of our hotel in Bologna. And I'm not sure whether Sam knows where he is going. I don't think he does. Oh, we got a lovely three point turn. Today, we are headed to various different supercar manufacturers from Italy. And to kick things off, let's go to at the moment, even though we are in Modena, Marinello, Bologna, there have been no supercar sightings. This is the weirdest place that you'd expect to supercar spot these roads. We've got hotels left and right, they're country roads, there's not a lot going on, but I'm keeping my eyes and ears peeled for any sort of crazy supercar. Oh, look how familiar this looks. And there's loads of people outside. Literally, a coach load has just been dropped off at Pagani. There's like 50 people hanging outside. Parked up, and let's go and check out Pagani. And fingers crossed, I can film some things that I'm allowed to film, because I know that some of these guys are quite secretive. So let's just see what happens. This is the first time I've ever been to an industrial estate, and there's a crowd of people hanging outside one of the factories. So, um, uh, yeah, we, we got shoved onto a public tour. So I think, look at that, they tried stopping uh, me take pictures on my phone. We were in there for all of 10 minutes and that was the biggest fail of our lives. So what was supposed to happen with Pagani? We were supposed to be meeting up with Luca Venturi who unfortunately had to fly last minute. So he'd passed us over to another guy and we were basically pushed into a public tour which of course we had seen the majority of the cars that we were being shown and then as soon as we get taken through to the next bit no photos next stop on our could i say idiots go to supercar factories because that seems like what we're doing because we've got no plans to see anyone at lamborghini or ferrari Pagani was the only one organised and well, you saw how that turned out. Rosso Corsa buildings. We can tell we're coming into Ferrari territory. Casually walking down the road, some Ferrari guys. We have parked our red cars, not quite Ferraris, but parked our red cars in front of the Ferrari Museum and now we are going on foot and hopefully I can catch the elusive LaFerrari spider that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fantastic exclusive you'll be getting. That's what I, that's no what one has seen Paul Wallace gets footage moving in Maranello. <laughs> that's what I'm aiming for. Good luck. I'm aiming high and I'll work my way down. I hope we just find a LaFerrari and then I'll use After Effects and cut off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe it, we have been wasting our time in a pizzeria and it's all kicking off outside the factory and what looked to be a dark red, true blood 
F12 TDF. I don't think I could zoom in enough. It was coming down and then turned off, so we're going to go and investigate. Well, like baby Ferraris. Maranello is one of the coolest places I have been. If you haven't been to Maranello, you must come because 90% of the people are walking around in full-blown red Ferrari overalls and there's just Ferraris driving everywhere. You are so close to the factory and Ferrari, this is basically Ferrari City. It is incredible. It is so cool and I'm so gutted that that TDF turned off up there and we weren't able to see it. Something's on fire and that guy's got a very relaxed approach to putting it out. <laughs> that wobbly action. I've got the zoom though. We are walking down one of the main strips in Maranello and I'm using the word strip because if you've been to Malia or Magaluf or anything like that then you'll know what I'm talking about. The clubs, the bars where all of the promoters on the outside are trying to get you in the club with the best deals. Here it's all about getting you in with the best deals to test drive Ferraris. How ridiculous is that so we're walking down there's a Lamborghini McLaren Ferrari Sam's currently trying to buy the white Scuderia that's over here um, but he's just trying to get talked into actually going on the test drive but it's just it's just crazy a completely different world it's gonna be now in our company because our company gets really fast you can get really fast uh, yes <laughs> you cannot make this video what? don't worry yeah it's okay <laughs> we're getting dragged around to every single bloody test drive center Well, I have to say, Ferrari and Maranello seriously impressed me. A lot of fun, loads of action going on, but it was just the whole atmosphere of how many Ferrari employees were there, how many cars were driving about, but then how many local businesses were so focused on Ferrari. Amazing. Now, I am in charge of getting myself and Sam to Lamborghini. So I've plugged it into the sat-nav, and I am in charge if we get lost. And you know what I was saying yesterday about the amazing tarmac in Italy on the roads, on the motorways? On these side roads, it's not as good. Very close to Lamborghini there is a hurricane I'm pretty sure it's a rear-wheel drive hurricane up ahead and we are struggling to catch it because of the cars that we've got in front of us according to Google Maps Lamborghini is on this road I can see some Lamborghini flags Italian flags here we go there it is Now where do we stop? There is a matte black Aventador SV, I believe, but it hasn't got a wing, so maybe it's just an Aventador. But it's definitely got a extended rear. Could that be the Aventador facelift? 
That, ladies and gentlemen, looks like it will be the facelift of Entador. Just got back to the room and I cannot believe how many files I filmed today. And that's just from this camera. I've got the GoPro to import as well. But it has been a crazy day visiting Pagani, which didn't go as well as we were probably expecting. Ferrari and Lamborghini were still pretty epic. And I'm so glad that I got some pretty cool shots of what could potentially be the facelift of Ventador. So hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow when myself and Sam drive to the south of Germany where there's gonna be some insane roads, mountain passes, and I'm just looking forward to it in the AMG GTS. So thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.